TikTok shops are the hot new thing in e-commerce right now. Now, TikTok shops have been out for a little bit of time in other regions, but they just came out in the United States. And so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what TikTok shops are, why if you're an e-commerce store, you should be taking advantage of this opportunity, uh, how to set up your TikTok shop. We're going to walk through the entire process of getting your TikTok shop set up and then also how to integrate your products into your TikTok shop. So it's all automated for you and you're ready to go. And then we'll finally wrap up by showing you how to actually tag your products inside of TikTok and create TikTok videos that have have your products in them. Now, if you aren't familiar with what TikTok shops are, TikTok shops are basically a, it's exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to sell products directly on TikTok. You set up a store, you import your products and people can buy your products without leaving TikTok. There's a couple of different advantages of this. One is that people don't have to leave TikTok to purchase your product. So the conversion rates can be really high. Two, it's incredibly easy to set up and a very good user experience. And three, I think TikTok is really excited about this opportunity. So people are going viral with some of these videos, very simple videos that they're creating and transforming their store and getting tons of sales. So I can't stress how big of an opportunity this is to be an early adopter in something like this. And I highly recommend everybody go through and set this up. Now, the reason why I'm creating this tutorial is because I realized as I was looking on the internet, there's not really a great step-by-step -step way to show you how to set up your TikTok shop. And there's a little bit of questions and kind of confusion there. So hopefully this video will clear up any confusion that you have on how to get your products in there, how to set up your shop and what that process looks like. Now for this example, I'm going to be using a Shopify store, but the process that I'm going to be showing will work for any kind of store that you have, whether it's WooCommerce, or any other thing that you're using to get your products. I'll show you how to import those products. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get started is click the link down below. It will take you to a page that looks something like this. This is where you can actually go through and sign up for your TikTok shops. This is different from a TikTok ads account or even a TikTok profile account. You can see there are lots of different things that you can do with a seller account, purchase and conversions, campaign and promotions, direct collaborations and performance as well. You can see there are four different categories here with the TikTok shop seller, creator, partner, and affiliate. We're going to be focusing on the seller for this video, but I'll have more videos coming out on those other buckets as well. So once you get into here, you're going to select the region that you're wanting to sell. The North America seller region is the newer region. Um, and the reason why I'm creating this tutorial, because it's now available in the United States. From here, you're going to sign up for an account. Once you go through and click that, it's going to ask you, hey, welcome to the United States, start selling. Once you click there, you load into a page that looks something like this, where it's going to start asking for basic information about your your business. So you can either do six different options that you can choose from. For me, I'm going to go with the partnership option. You'll want to choose whatever one is applicable to your business. It will then ask what your primary product or service type is. Now there isn't a ton of buckets here. So just go through and find the thing that is most relevant to your product or service. Then it'll ask for some basic information that I'm going to blur out here um, for your phone number, business information, and other things like that. And if you are setting this up as a business, just be aware you will need your EIN and also a business address to go through and set up if you are doing it as a business. And then for me, because I am doing a partnership, Partnership, I did need to go through and provide information on the key business person. Um, so like legal name, date of birth, address, and last four of the social security number. If you're doing this as solo or as a sole proprietor, you might not have this step, but just wanted to give you a heads up. Now, after you fill all that out, it will take you to dashboard that looks something like this. Now it may take about 24 hours for your account to get approved. So keep that in mind, but you can see we've already registered a business and set up the tax information and the shipping. You do all that in the main setup. Now I want to go through and talk about how to actually get your products into this TikTok shop. And I personally think they did a great job with this user interface because you can see exactly the next step that you need to do in order to get your TikTok shop up and running. So now we're gonna go through and add those products. So we're gonna go through and hit add new products to get started right here. It's going to ask if we want to upload directly or sync with another platform. Now, most of the time I'm gonna recommend that you sync with another platform, especially if you already have an e-commerce store up. Chances are, if you're watching this tutorial, you probably do. For this example, we're gonna be using Shopify and syncing the products from Shopify. So in order to do that, you can see you can come down to this filter and click the Shopify box. And there's all these different apps that will help you do this. Now I've tried a handful of these and the one that I like the most so far is this after ship feed for Shopify, this orange one down here below. Now I've tested a lot of these and I found that this one was the easiest one to actually get set up and running and the most user friendly. It does cost money just like all the other ones, but the first 10 products are free. So if you're just getting started with TikTok shops, this is great to go through and do that. This isn't endorsed or they're not sponsored or anything like that. I just found that this was the easiest one. From here, you're gonna hit install and then give it the duration of permission that you want it to have. Your contact email, opt into that. And then it's going to ask for authorization to all of these different things. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down, read those and then hit authorize. And I do wanna stress that as time goes on, I may change my mind on which one I recommend I the most as I test different ones of these integrations. So just keep that in mind and keep an open mind on maybe testing other ones. And so now it's going to ask you to go through and log into your account or create a new one. So we're going to go through and create an account. And once that is created, it's going to drop you into something that looks like this. 
So we're gonna go through and connect our e-commerce platform. For us, we are going to be doing Shopify here and then hit connect. It's then going to take us to Shopify where it'll ask you to install the app on, onto your actual Shopify store. See, this is the after ship feed for Shopify TikTok shop. So you can install this before if you wanted as well before you start this process. From there, it's then going to ask for you to set up and sync your product settings. And then for me, I just chose no brand. And then finally asked for a customer email, the carrier name mapping, uh, that's optional. You can see there, I just skipped that. So now we're gonna go through and hit the start button here. And it's going to take us to a view just to actually start mapping our products and shop categories. And you can see with this plan, we're on the monthly order quota zero of 10 use. So you can get started for free and then see if you actually like this. So you need to first go through and map your products. So we're gonna click here, come over to the category mapping, hit map products, and then make this actually really easy. I was surprised at how easy this whole process actually is to get your shop set up. From here, it's going to pull in all the products on your Shopify store. You can choose which ones you actually want to bring into your TikTok shop. So you can see I have five products there, but I only want three of them to show up on TikTok shops. We're gonna hit next here. And then now it's going to ask for the product or category it didn't find an exact one for my pickleball paddles. So I just found something that was as close as possible. So do the same for your store. Once you have those products mapped, hit sync now. It's then gonna go through and do a sync. And you can see I got these errors right here. Sync this product needs edited information. So this isn't a problem. All I do is go through and hit the edit on the actions over on the right-hand corner here. And you can see what that does is it's asking for the weight information. It was mad that the length, width, and height of the paddles wasn't in there. So I had to go through and manually add that. It's on the product feed, so I'm not sure why it didn't get pulled through, but I just quickly went through and added that and then it got rid of those errors. And you can see here, you can go through and edit the variants and the attributes as well. You can see those are all optional. So it's something to keep in mind when you are editing these, but the weight, length, and height was required. So then I went through and hit saved and you can see it got rid of that error. So then I went through and got, did that for the other two paddles until I got rid of all of the errors inside of this uh, account. So once all of those were gone, now it was time to actually go through and sync the products. Now you can either sync each product individually if you wanted to, or each even variant individually if you want to. I just clapped them and sync the products one by one. Now you can see there's a sync product bulk option there at the top. You can select all the products and sync them. I only wanted to sync two of these products in here, the black paddle and then the kids paddle. Now in my experience, it takes 24 hours for these products to sync and get approved. So if you head back over to your TikTok shops, you'll notice that in the check box that the add your first product isn't selected yet. If you go to the left-hand side and click on products and then manage products, it will take you to a view that looks like like this and it's kind of scary because when you first open this up it makes it look like your products are suspended but you'll see underneath there it actually says that they are getting reviewed so there's it's kind of weird how they word that i wish they would say being reviewed instead of suspended so give that a little bit of time don't worry if underneath it, it says being reviewed if it says suspended then and without the reviewing there then you might be in trouble but come back after 24 hours to make sure that these get approved okay so it is now the next day and i have good news if we look here at our actual products we are approved so you can see that scary thing about suspension was it was just going through the review process so give this 24 hours for these to go through and get approved and then you should be good to go. So now that we have our products inside of here, now what we're gonna do is come over to home and then you can see the last thing is to go through and connect our shop to our actual TikTok account. So we're gonna hit get started here and then we're going to hit link official account. Okay, and in order to connect this, it's wanting us to go to our TikTok app. So we're gonna to go to TikTok and you're gonna click on the top three lines here, my QR code. And then from there, we're gonna click this in the top right hand corner, a little sign, I'm not sure what that is. And then we're going to scan this QR code and then we are going to authorize this shop. And you can see it's gonna come up with this right here. We're going to agree to these terms and then link this account. And there we go, we are now officially linked. It is important to note these things to know, like you can only link one official account your products will automatically sync to your official shop. You can only unlink your official account three times. After that, you won't be able to unlink anymore. Your shop name will become the TikTok account name. TikTok account will link automatically, will automatically become a business account. So keep that in mind. If you, once you link this, it will automatically become a business account. So you won't be able to use commercial copyright music, um, things like that. But there are lots of benefits to a business account. So now we can head over to the home tab and see that we are now ready to go. So congratulations on setting up your shop. We can go through and explore, but let's actually go through onto TikTok now and see what this looks like on TikTok. Okay, so now we are officially set up on TikTok shop. So I do want to log into the TikTok app and show you what this looks like, show you what the TikTok shop looks like and how to tag your products as well inside of here. So when you first get inside of your account, this is what you'll see. If you go over to this little shopping tab, you'll notice that that's there now and you can see our products are now showing. When you click inside of these, you'll see you'll have all the information that we went through and put in synced from Shopify, which is nice. You have the reviews, description, 
overview and then you back over here and people can go through and shop those different things. If you click this TikTok shop up here, you can see it'll show you all sorts of different tools that you have, including the product marketplace, your shop, managed products, and then like today's um, data, like revenue, items sold, orders. And then ult the ultimate feature here is when you actually now go through and set up a post, when you go through and upload this, you can see we're gonna grab one of these paddles right here. We're gonna hit next. And we're just going to, I'm going to go through and not really edit this and I'll just kind of show you what the links look like. You can see here now you have this add link feature and you click there and then you hit products and then you can go through and tag your specific product inside of TikTok. Now, if you don't see this product feature right away, I did have to wait probably around 15, 20 minutes for it to actually show up in there. So just keep that in mind. Once you link your shop, give it 15, 20 minutes and then it'll probably show up inside there. We're going to accept these and then uh, hit apply. And then you can see now we can go through and add our products onto this specific video and they'll show up in that bottom right hand corner. We're going to hit add and then you can see it's only 30 characters. So I probably would go through and change the name of that a little bit. And this is what the post looks like when it's live. You can see in that bottom left hand corner now is now the shop tab. When somebody goes through and clicks on that, they now get taken to our TikTok shop product. And you can see right now TikTok's offering lots of incentives for people to go through and shop. Right now I'm getting a 50% off um, to buy my first thing basically. This is a coupon directly from TikTok. So users can go through and select their paddle, add it to their cart. And this is what the entire flow looks like. So this is the organic side, what it looks like from the organic side. But that is only one advantage of these TikTok shops. Posting these videos and tagging your products organically is a huge advantage. But on top of that, if you wanted to scale even more, you can run ads for these TikTok shops as well. And let me show you how to set that up. So now we've gone through and shown you how to set up the TikTok shops organically. Now, if you wanted to expand your reach even more with TikTok shops, you can run ads with these TikTok shops. You can see right now it's in beta, so it's another great opportunity to be an early adopter in something. When you're inside of your TikTok shops, if you just come over here to the tab, you can go over to the actual ads here. It will take you to something that looks like this where you can begin the setup. So we're gonna click on this and it already has our ad account, our um, business center created here. If you don't already have a business center created or an ad account created, you will need to do that. All the leave a link down below on how to go through and set up your account. But we're going to hit connect here, connect to this account, and then it will find our ad account as well. And then we need to link to our TikTok account, which is the actual profile account. And then we can go through and hit connect account. And then it's going to have us go through and scan that again, just like we did before. And then now we have this little green check mark here, letting us know we're good. So we're gonna hit complete setup. Okay, and once that's all set up, what that allows you to do is come over here to your actual TikTok account. And then from this point, now you can actually select the TikTok shops option when you go to go through and create a campaign. So this is actually now in the TikTok ads manager. You can see here now we have the product sales, sell products from your TikTok shop website and app. If you click here, you can now sell directly from the TikTok shop. And remember, this needs to be connected before you can go through. You need to connect your ad account to your TikTok shop before you go through and do this option. But now you can see we have video shopping and then the TikTok shop, this you'll see that now we have the drop down to use the backcourt pickleball. It's important that you go through and connect those or else you're not gonna have that option. And then from there, you can go through and select your targeting um, and hit next. We're just gonna give this a daily budget of $20. Hit next here. And then you can see here, this is where you can actually go through and add the products to your, from your TikTok shop. So when you go through and add the product here, uh, it's just like the same as it would be on the organic post. When they go through and click it, instead of taking it to your website, they're gonna, it's gonna take them to the TikTok shop that you've gone through and set up. And you can do a TikTok video post if you wanted to. So you can see I can grab the same one um, confirm there and you can see this is what the landing page is going to look like so you can preview it when somebody actually goes through and clicks on that page they're going to be taken directly to this paddle where they can go through and check out without having to leave TikTok at all, TikTok at all. Um, so it's a very smooth transition and a great way to get even more traction if you're wanting to run ads for your TikTok shop so congratulations you are now ready to start utilizing TikTok shops but to be honest this is just the very first step in TikTok shops there's lots of other things that you can do inside of the platform including setting up affiliate programs utilizing their growth tab, analytics, and all sorts of other things and best practices when it comes to setting up videos for these shop ads. So if you're interested in learning more about those things and how to grow your account using TikTok shops and ultimately get more sales, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be creating more content around those things and we'll see you in the next one.